During the second quarter, the Coleman Street Investment Funds uh, continued their pleasing start to the year. Outperformance was generally driven by stock selection within our UK equities, uh, and this was in part offset by relative underperformance driven by our asset allocation uh, as a result of our overweight position in UK equities and our underweight position in international equities. The star performer from a bottom-up perspective uh, over the quarter was Games Workshop. We initially did our due diligence on this business back in September 2019. Whilst we felt this was one of the highest quality businesses that we'd looked at, uh, we didn't think that the uh, share price offered the kind of margin of safety on the valuation that we would look for and that we would expect. So we chose not to follow through with our purchase. Uh, and then, uh, you know, five months later, uh, a, a strong set of results from the business and a 60% increase in the share price. Uh, and we were, we were prepared at that stage to admit to this one as an error of omission uh, and quite an expensive error of omission at that. However, uh, in March this year, uh, coronavirus caused a significant fall in the share price. Uh, we felt that the long term earnings potential of this business was relatively unaffected. Uh, and so felt that that margin of safety then existed for us to make the investment. Three months later, uh, and the shares have almost doubled uh, in value. So whilst we wouldn't expect this kind of uh, this kind of performance uh, again from Games Workshop or perhaps even from any investment we make, uh, it's certainly very pleasing, uh, and we hope to be able to continue to report on underlying performance in in Games Workshop uh, that will justify future share price gains. Errors of omission are not the only ones that we're prone to, however. If we look back at our sale of Reckitt Ben Kaiser shares back in December 2019, uh, some might describe this one at this stage as an error of commission. So we sold our shares in the business uh, where we felt that the top line was stagnating, uh, margins were declining, the corporate structure was no longer fit for purpose, uh, and the leverage in the business offered little room for manoeuvre. Clearly, there is nothing better to buoy sales at a, at a health and hygiene specialist than a global pandemic. Uh, and Reckitt Ben Kaiser have certainly been a beneficiary. So the shares are up 20% as a result. Uh, we will obviously continue to look at and to monitor and to question our decisions and our mistakes. Uh, but we think at this stage, uh, this one was uh, an example where we made the wrong decision, uh, but for the right reasons. As for markets, uh, commentators continue to struggle to make sense of equity markets that are testing record highs, whilst economic data is breaking through record lows. So, for example, uh, during April, uh, UK GDP uh, recorded a negative 20% uh, monthly fall, which is significantly lower than any previous on record. But on the other hand, we do have economic stimulus coming through from governments and central banks, which is unprecedented in both size and scale. Whilst there are significant side effects uh, that will come of this, some of which we will know at the moment, some of which will become more apparent in the future. Uh, one of the most obvious of these is the significant fall in bond yields and in interest rates throughout the world. So this is relevant when we look back at that question around uh, equity markets testing record highs. If you go and look at John Burr Williams and his work during his PhD uh, in the 1930s at Harvard, uh, he described uh, the mathematical uh, formula whereby the value of any asset can be calculated by working out its future cash flows uh, for its remaining life and then discounting those at an appropriate interest rate. So you can see the obvious example there. Uh, if coronavirus causes cash flows to fall by a small amount, but interest rates decline by an even greater amount, then the theoretical value of that asset, or for example, a collection of assets, i.e. an index, could in fact rise. So if we see interest rates remain low, uh, but cash flows, uh, expected cash flows uh, increase slightly, for example, on the on the back of uh, opening of global economies, uh, then the supposed disconnect between uh, equity markets and the underlying economy may not be ready to close quite yet.